this is Kevin out of Pennsylvania. What's going on? Hey, Kevin, how are you? Not too bad. Um, I did. I, I didn't catch the first half or so, so maybe you talked about this, but I wanted to call your attention to um, there is a there is a Montgomery County in Pennsylvania, right outside of Philly, has decided like at the like just the court level to start at giving out same sex marriage uh, licenses, right? Like I- in defiance of like a 1996 law, which is pretty awesome, actually. Like I don't know if you covered that story. But I didn't, but I, I, you're more of a legal base than uh, a lot of people. So would that would that possibly hold up in court now? Because there's a state ban, but obviously after the DOMA, well, the DOMA, uh, this is decision. what this is what I understand. Essentially, what happened is I think it was about um, at least five same-sex couples uh, went and applied mm-hmm. for marriage licenses in Montgomery County. They were not denied these licenses, and they were issued the licenses. In fact, one couple, at the very least at this point, or as of a day or two ago, uh, got married. Uh, that was Alicia Terizzi and Lorraine uh, Bloodgood. And the and what has happened, you're right, there is a, uh, um, uh, in fact, I think, um, I don't know if it's a statute or if it is a, yeah, I think it's a, a law, a uh, 17-year-old law that bans same-sex marriages. And uh, the ACLU has filed a suit about two weeks ago to challenge this law. Um, And apparently, my understanding is that the Attorney General, Kathleen Kane, refused, and she announced this, I guess, about two weeks ago, she would not defend the state's position because she supports same-sex marriage. It is unclear whether or not uh, Governor Corbett will fight the lawsuit. He declined to comment on on both the attorney general's decision not to uh, fight the lawsuit, and uh, he also declined to comment on the decision from Montgomery County to issue the licenses. Apparently, the clerk there basically said, I'm not going to be on the wrong side of history. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's, uh, you know, it's their right to get married, so I'm going to issue these licenses. So it remains to be seen, but um, at this moment, at least in effect, the, uh, the, the law, well, the, you can get married in Pennsylvania. Now, I don't know what special rights you have in Pennsylvania beyond the federal rights that you have. Uh, that are offered to um, uh, to married couples, but that's where you know we're going to find out the resolution of this lawsuit by the ACLU will determine that if there are specific um, uh, benefits to being married from the state, whether or not those are going to be granted uh, based upon the resolution of this uh, of this legal challenge, and so it remains to be seen. But it's a really good indication. Uh, that, you know, we're going to start to see these laws challenged and challenged successfully, uh, both because there's some legal standing now. I mean, presumably there's a precedent on the federal level and because you're going to see more and more people simply say from a just sort of a social, a societal and a cultural level, I got no problem with this. So uh, I appreciate your, your bringing it up, Kevin, because it... Um, it was in my stack, obviously, and I had just neglected to get to it. And I and I appreciate the call, buddy. I, I did have one more question, though. Um, with with that, if it were to like, even if it didn't work out through the 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 court process in Pennsylvania, would this be a way for gay couples and civil rights advocates to attack this in every state without the uh, that has like a gay marriage ban? I mean, just find a, a sympathetic ear in the court system in order to just have this go into the pipeline. Well, I mean, what what it's predicated on is the clerks who uh, presumably, you know, uh, I guess in Pennsylvania it's the county clerks that issue marriage licenses. It's predicated on them doing it. Now, again, unless the law, the statute is struck down in Pennsylvania or, let's say, an amendment to a constitution is struck down, then any benefits the state gives to those couples will be denied. So uh, they may have a marriage license, but they may not get the benefits of, um, uh, of being married. That's something that has to be adjudicated. But, you know, again, it also has to do with just sort of like, 
uh, breaking down the societal uh, issues in, in various states. So it may work in some places uh, better than others, but I think it's something we're going to continue to see.